Yeah, well, now the whole going. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Surgeon Leaders, the Leader of the Council Cabinet Member Meeting. It's Tuesday, the 28th of February, 10 a.m. Um, any apologies, please? No, no apologies, Chair. Yeah, thank you. It's been circulated to the relevant people on this. Yeah, see ya. So, uh, identification of those items to which calling will not apply. No apologies. The declarations of interest, I have none. We've got some previous meeting, uh, minutes of a meeting on the 4th of October, which I'm rejecting on the case from my point of view, which leads us to um, item 5, the early decision of contracts and procedures, binding procedure matters. In the way, UK fast follows competition. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, this is just to update you and to inform you about a funding opportunity that has landed with us at quite short notice and it's for quite a substantial amount of money which we'll talk about in a minute through the Innovate UK uh, fund which is part of the UK research and in innovation arm of the government and Innovate UK put in quite a lot of money into low carbon initiatives and projects and, and this is an opportunity that, like I say, we, we found out about about a month ago and one that we would like to pursue to take forward our, our zero carbon ambitions for the city. Um, I'll come on to the recommendations at the end. And I've got Gemma here as well that can provide detail if you want to uh, share on, on, on any of the questions you may have, because Gemma has been involved in the detail bit itself. Um, so the reason we're coming here today is because the, the deadline date of submitting the the bid doesn't tie in with a council cabinet meeting uh, and we've got to get the bid in by uh, noon tomorrow. So just to take you through what this is all about, um, we're approaching climate change on two different fronts uh, within the council. One is which we're getting our own house in order and we've got the uh, the Climate Change Action plan, plan to help us do that. But we've also got a, a role as a council to engage and enable others across the city to get involved in this agenda, recognising the fact that our own carbon footprint as a council is pretty insignificant compared with the, the city's carbon footprint. And this bid is all about the external work we need to do as a council to enable others and ourselves to sort of engage in the wider city work we need to do on net zero. Um, so the primary focus of this uh, bid, which will provide, hopefully provide us with, with funding of between 250 to 300,000 pounds, is to... Um, address what they call the non-technical barriers to action towards net, net zero. And they're things like financing, capacity, skills, engagement and behavioural change. Um, our bid has got the following main elements to it, which are bullet pointed under section 4.4. So just quickly whizzing through these, it will okay. comprise of a commonly owned net zero marketing campaign for the whole city. So everybody's talking the same language in terms of net zero and what it means to us all. Working with the University of Derby on research and consultancy opportunities. I mean, uni are one of our key partners anyway, and we want to engage more with them in this area. A net zero partnership board based on the Green Board. So we've had the Climate Change Commission, which is merging into the Green Board, which will be our main uh, decision. Uh, body in terms of climate change across the city. Then we want to launch a Let's Talk Derby climate platform to engage the public. So that will have everything on it to do with what climate change is about and how the public can get involved. A Derby carbon insetting project. So Gemma can talk about more of the detail of this in a minute if you want some more information on this chair. But basically, if businesses want to offset some of their carbon emissions, instead of doing that externally to the city, they can actually put their money towards local projects within the city that are going to help sit with straight and, and, uh, and trap carbon. 
uh, a Derby net zero delivery plan. So this is basically what are we going to do as a city to get uh, to achieve our net zero ambitions in terms of our big ticket items and our big projects. And then for, finally, this this notion of learning about what we're doing and building our evidence base around the data and the intelligence that we've gathered. So that, that they're all of the sort of components of our bid that have, have come together to what we think is quite a, an exciting proposal for the city. And also to, to mention, Chair, that this bid we're putting forward, if we get the money or not, it's something we would we need to do and would like to do across the city anyway to really get us motoring in this area. Um, the call partners for the bid, we've got the University of Derby, Community Action Derby, East Midlands Chamber and Toyota. And they're literally, we're going to get some letters for them uh, in the next few hours so the bid can be submitted tomorrow. Um, all the partners have got a different role within the project. The university uh, are engaged quite a lot in terms of the nitty gritty of the project. And other partners like Toyota will come in to support elements of it, but not to the, the degree of the University of Derby. Um, just moving on. The council as a lead organisation will, doesn't have to provide any funding to the project itself, but we have to cost out our funding as officers to contribute to the project. And that has been looked after by, you know, finance are helping with that. But just to reassure you, this is time we would be putting into this work anyway. Um, and then finally, one other point to mention about the bid is we spoke to Nottingham City Council about the regional bid they're putting into this fund about two or three weeks ago. And to be honest, we thought at the time it'd be useful to go in with the regional bid, but we could also support we could also put forward our own city bid which we think has got a lot of merits so we are doing a two two-phased approach here we're supporting the regional bid that nottingham city is leading but we're also you know pushing our own city-wide bid for this money um, and i think i'll come to the recommendations at the end but Gemma, did you want to add anything else to that in terms of detail um, so, I suppose it depends if you've got any specific questions. Yeah, I guess the first question when you say you want to get motoring on this, and yeah, I presume you mean you're going to get busy with it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, the words, yeah, the words were better. Yes, definitely. I guess. Um, but, but two questions really. One, uh, it, it says a fast followers competition. I guess it's a competition because we don't think 20. Um, Places 20 yes. awards going to be made. Yes. Have we been encouraged to, to apply or, or is it something we're confident of? I, 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 mean, I think we're well placed as a city in terms of yeah. uh, the green agenda. Be yeah. hopeful yeah. for uh, I mean, a good result. The, the issue is that all the working authorities are kind of in a similar position, some not as well placed as others. And when it comes to net zero work and this competition, that's the whole easy UK. So, with only funding about 20. Do you think the regional bid will take priority over the local bid? Well, this is our concern because, it, you know, Nottingham is well equipped to take advantage of any opportunity like this because, because of the capacity they've got internally. But we just feel that when we heard about Nottingham's bid, we, we just felt that we've got other things to offer here that could make our bid unique and different and innovative. So at the end of the day, Chair, we've got to be in it to win it. And we thought if we don't you know, put don't anything, yeah, exactly. So, so, right. so that's why we've gone for it. OK, and good luck with that. I mean, um, so what would be the upshot for us? Would, um, is it revenue? Is it two years? How long is it funding for? And... It's two years, starting in July, revenue. And um, at the moment, I'm looking at putting in about 285,000. So the money would be used to support our already ongoing in, in, in conjunction with the Green Board and, and this um, this other group would, would run alongside the Green Board to decide to work on and to spend some money on the, and on the, the projects that you list there at 4.4. Yeah, th this will all be part and parcel of the work of the Green Board mm -hmm. and, uh, and the way the funding is divided up do you want to say about how the funding's divided up? Yeah, so um, 
the funding is sort of three hundred thousand pounds maximum is split into two sort of wedges of one hundred and fifty thousand. So one lot is to be um, used to employ a net zero innovation and the other search So that means that obviously that would be a resource that we're much in need of. Um, so that that section would be used for that to fund some of their costs. The other half is to go towards funding the implementation of the project. Which is essentially what we've created. And he's taught you through these things that we want to create and the actions we want to take and the outcomes we want to get for the city is with the other 150,000. And that's where the small contribution to our time comes from. I was the um, main concern was that you need a dedicated for the results to be able to yeah. drive the yeah. Okay, well, I think I've heard enough in that regard. So the recommendations are yeah. to agree to submit um, this bit and the region of this. Led by Nottingham. Yeah. Yep. Just uh, to delegate the authority to accept it, should we win it? Yep. To go and then uh, delegate it to the director uh, from section one. Find one officer for any minor changes along with the contracts or records. Certainly normal. Um, and the cabinet members, members also involved there to be consulted. So I'm fine with that. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Jim. Um, that concludes the business. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah.